project launching workshop, which was uh, done on uh, July with the uh, participation of all stakeholders, including the government stakeholders, as well as also those humanitarian partners engaged in uh, the refugee setups, including UNHCR, as well as also from the beneficiary from the refugee side. So officially, the project was launched on July. Now we are on the fifth month of uh, the project's time. We are accomplishing multiple tasks from this project. Especially, we reached the protection aspect as well as health and nutrition aspects and also rehabilitation service. So, hopefully, today we will visit some of the service areas in the camp. The biggest camp in Ethiopia, which is Guinea Refugee Camp, which hosts almost uh, 97,000. Thank you. Because we are a human being, they need a support from uh, like us and like others. So, as you mentioned, the, as you get in the early uh, visiting, there are also, from the communities themselves, there are volunteers. Most of the community are uh, focusing uh, by themselves only, not uh, seeing others to, who need support. And so in order to uh, fill in that gap, we are working for that, for the humanity. But you, you put your own self at risk for this uh, job. Uh, no, at least uh, we are getting mentally satisfied, we are reaching those, the most vulnerable and the one who is not um, uh, getting out in the sea or the sun and uh, getting fresh air in outside because of their mobility. So supporting that one is uh, beyond satisfaction. No one will get from outside. Do you have a memory? Was there an experience with an older person that you remember? That, that you really inspired or moved your heart? That you uh, Actually, I'm, I'm joined Helpage and I'm satisfied because of uh, providing this service recently. I, I don't have actually such kind of uh, experience pre in previous um, uh, my professional career. Now, after I joined uh, Helpage International, I saw one of uh, old ladies, she's living in uh, Gunyel Zone A. She have uh, kids and uh, almost the family is seven uh, family size, but she cannot go out uh, uh, because of her mobility problem. And always the small kids were caring. Look, they missed from school and they're carrying the foods from general food distribution for her. But helpage, we provide the budget service for them, at least carrying their food until their home. That one, it had helped small children getting, go to school. This is the most, the most um, good thing what I get from uh, my experience. Mm. No, it's very, very uh, powerful. So this is almost the last zone of the Guinea refugee camp. Uh, this is uh, called Zone D. This is a secondary school run by Ara. On the left side is the community living like the cultural, mainly the shelter type is a cultural type of shelter, which is grass touching on the roof and uh, mud walling, which is constructed by bamboo. So for the time being, we will turn on the left side. Some of the partners are like encouraging uh, farming by providing farm tools, seeds to cultivate within the available land. Even if one of the challenges is scarcity of resource with the host community is one of uh, the problem. You see, this all, more than 97,000 uh, uh, population have, doesn't have an access for energy. They are going to the forest to collect the firewood. The same, the host community is also going to the same uh, forest to collect the firewood. Sometimes there is uh, quarreling between um, host community and also the refugee because of scarcity of resource. So this is also one of the gap, uh, either uh, the government or any UN agency or international community should feel, especially the energy side. Even it have also a negative impact in the, uh, the green economy as well as also the climate change. So this is one, one of uh, uh, the area uh, which means previously actually there was a poor water problem but currently the partners are working for the water is delivered to all over the refugee camp based on the last month's coordination meeting reports almost UNHR standards are met for, the, for all of the refugees. Uh, as you can see from left side of mine this is a nutrition center run by Action Against Hunger, one of the international NGO, uh, providing for nutrition for 
under five children as well as also um, uh, people, uh, I mean, pregnant and lactating women. This is uh, the next to it uh, with uh, yellow and uh, red uh, corrugated iron fencing compound is a uh, center with a victim of trauma, which is CVT. Uh, CVT is providing mainly those mentally ill as well as also torture uh, um, beneficiaries by counseling and providing treatment. The next one is the other health center, which is the next health center uh, run by Kwam or Doctor with Africa, providing uh, maternal uh, service for the community who are living in the refugee camp. Hmm. Good. Excellent. Huh? This is already great. Oh, you see, this is, it's beautiful and uh, nice camp, huh?